Welcome to This Week in Sport and Human Rights. I want to reflect on the concerning reports coming out of the recent Champions League final in Paris, one of the biggest sporting events of the year. Frankly, we're relieved that this event didn't have a much worse outcome, as the calmness and good behavior of both sets of fans prevented a possible disaster. While shocking, this wasn't an isolated incident. We have seen other issues with security near Stadia in other big matches recently, with problems with stewarding at Wembley for last year's Euro final and a fatal crush at the Olembi Stadium in Yaoundé during the African Cup of Nations. So it's important that lessons are learned quickly. Something clearly went wrong in preparations for the UCL final and the widespread use of aggressive policing including the use of tear gas on fans, workers, and members of the press gives real cause for concern. So we welcome the investigative steps that authorities and organizers have proposed to identify the root causes of the circumstances before and after the match. And we commend civil society, fans, and the media for their work to document what happened. The last mile is the space immediately around a stadium between the transit points and the entrances. This is a crucial area in the preparation and delivery of major events with specific challenges requiring engagement with local communities, fans and security services and joined up planning for how police, stewards, volunteers and private security are deployed. Analyzing incidents through a human rights lens will be essential as lessons are drawn. The Stade de France and Saint-Denis area will be central to next year's Rugby World Cup and the 2024 Olympic and Paralympic Games. So not only will robust security protocols with a human rights lens be critical, but also stronger engagement with a range of stakeholders, especially local communities. With Football Supporters Europe, we recently launched a fans guide with practical actions to ensure fans and organizers are prepared for safe and positive experiences during an event. We also delivered a webinar with the International Code of Conduct Association for the private security providers. Check both of these out and other resources on our website.